Hi, welcome everyone. Uh, today we're unboxing a uh, scale um, flooring saw. Um, we're, uh, we're gonna use this to uh, install hardwood floor. Uh, where you, we are um, installing an koa right now. This is uh, the tiger wood or Brazilian koa. Um, this is three port thick. 4 inch and um, we've been using uh, the the old way some uh, saw we've been using uh, a saw like this or sometimes uh, I use my table saw but um, I'm getting tired of, you know going up and down and up and down so we decide uh, to buy this one so I just got this yesterday uh, in some on a big store for 135.50, it's on sale. This is the scale saw model 3601. Um, it's a 7.0 amp. Okay, and now um, and I will uh also do a video on how to attach um your uh wet and dry vacuum to this uh, machine so it's not gonna make a lot of mess because I'm going to use it uh, over here um, so I'm not gonna go outside and it's it's winter time right now so I'll keep it here and I don't want to make a lot of mess and now let's start um, unboxing it Okay. This one is made out of uh, die cast aluminum. Um, it's uh, made in China, you know. I hope it's gonna last me uh, a few months. Okay. What we got here, we got here, the bolt, we got the useless bag, and what we got here, okay, we got like clump probably, let's see what's inside, okay, see all right wow Let's put it over here okay wow already fully assembled here you go. Wow. It's fully, uh, fully assembled already. It's ready to use. Okay, so here's the machine. It says right here, scale saw. It's not that heavy. Okay. And here you go. Okay, this is the bottom. It comes with a rubber feet. Here you go, this one right here. Okay, be careful. These things are very sharp. They didn't bother to clean it. This one here, they're sharp, the corner. Some of the corner over here. Okay, here, they are very sharp. And um, right, that's the bottom, and this one here. Okay, this is the tools that you need. It's uh, it's locked over here. Here you go. All right, that's a post stick, or I don't know what they call that. 
push the stick and um, the tools is right here that's the tools to remove the um, the saw blade okay put it right there accessible and this is how you uh, put this back over here there you go right this is the the side okay this is the switch right here there you go up on off i think this is uh, i believe this is uh, removable right here yeah i don't know you don't want somebody uh use it probably you have to remove that there you go Okay, and this is the the lock. If you want to slide it, you just push. I know you just um pull it up. Here you go. So it's gonna start to move. Hold on. All right. You know, goes all the way up here. There's a like a guide right here. Come on, focus. All right, that's a guide. Looks sturdy. I mean, for one thirty-five, you know, <coughs> save you a lot of time. Okay, and this is where you are. Um, you put the bag, dust bag, or you can uh, to connect your um, vacuum. All right. Okay, now let's uh, try it. Let's uh, connect the vacuum um, holes. Uh, anyway, I'm using. Uh, uh, okay, this is um, the one I'm gonna use to uh, connect it to uh, to my uh, rigid vacuum, wet and dry. I got this last, I think, last summer for nineteen ninety nine on sale comes with everything like that but I'm gonna I'm just gonna use the holes you know this is for our uh, auto detailing uh, kit I think it's a uh, regular price is 32 or to 39 dollars right now I think you need to get this one it's better than uh, buying the adapter for like 10.99 just add a little money you can use this to clean to vacuum your car okay now uh, we're gonna open this one. So this uh comes with uh this holes. All right, comes with this one, and comes with all those accessories right here. Okay, um. Now I'm gonna connect this. Okay. Uh, this hose it comes already with this small uh, adapter. Yeah, you just it's, it's you just gonna put it right over here. Okay, hold on. Okay, you just connect it over here. Okay, until it gets all the way. It's not too tight, so it's easier. It can remove it easily on anyway. There you go. Okay. And now the other end. This is my vacuum. It's a rigid. There you go. Let's remove the uh, excess holes right here. There you go. And um, now you're going to install the other end over here until it locks there you go 
and you're ready. Uh, okay, now let's try it. Okay, this is the wood we're stalling right now. This is the Brazilian koa or tiger wood. Okay, we already um, installed like 420 square feet right now, all the way right over here. There you go. And um, we use the manual saw or sometimes uh, the table saw, but it's cold now, so I decided to get one of the, the scale saw. I hope it's gonna work fine. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna try to cut this one. All right. This is the Brazilian koa or tiger wood. This is a hard, um, exotic uh, hardwood. All right, let's see. Let's turn on the vacuum and uh, it's gonna be a uh, noisy. So, uh, here you go. <laughs> Uh, first let's move this over here okay just uh, loosen this one all the way and go to remove that and um, you could make it over here there's a small hole right here where, where this uh, nuts go there or screw there you go And then tighten it up. And you can use um, this one here. Okay. Let me see if there's no nail. This one here, there's a nail. So, okay, here you go. There you go, you cut it straight, you just do it like that. Let's see. Okay, I put this here temporary. Okay. I can put it in the floor or but I don't wanna I don't know if it's gonna make a mess or what. But I'm just gonna keep it. It's a little starty, just be careful. Okay, let's turn on the vacuum and let's start. <laughs> It is very clean, okay? There is just a little, little one, but unless you are going to see it like very closely, you will notice, but I mean, it's acceptable. Cuts beautiful. Okay, the machine by itself are very noisy. Okay, you might gonna need some um something uh airplug. Okay, but it cuts very 
straight very fine what can I say I think for a hundred and thirty five dollars I saved more time you know instead of using uh, a regular saw or going up and down I didn't, I didn't I didn't see any dust there's some over here but I mean it's acceptable not not nothing on the bottom there's some but not a lot okay all right let's uh let's try to cut a uh, horizontal let's see let's start to uh, cut horizontal this is a 30 degrees and um turn on the okay if you want to hear just the sound of the saw it's gonna be an, a lot of noise cuts very clean okay I didn't change the blade so it's the same thing it's so clean it's so beautiful um I noticed that if you push it hard it's gonna make a mess it's not clean it's there's some like you know splinter a little but not noticeable but there's uh, a little but I, I um, you do it like slowly you push it slowly you know take your time you know it cuts like you know like a butter okay and uh, let's try the other um uh, what they call that Hold on. okay let's try the other function okay we're gonna lock this here let's pull it up and turn it and then then you move it locks there okay let's see Okay, there you go. Okay, so uh, that's all for today, um, guys. Uh, that's how I um, connect, uh, unbox and connect my scale saw to uh, a big uh, wet and dry vacuum. Okay, as you can see, it's only a little mess over here. Okay. There you go all right and there's some some uh, on the bottom but i was uh thinking that if you put it right on the floor it's gonna suck up all those um uh, dust on the floor also so it's not a lot on the bottom and it's not you know uh there's no nothing here the machine itself is so clean there you go. There is some very, very little right there. Not, not, that's not a lot right there. So, all right. That's all for uh, today. Okay, it's a, it's a nice machine. It's very loud, so I suggest you use um, Air map.